Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Linda Sue Plants for You. Um, I'm going to do a short update on my plant swap that I did with um, Susie from Suzette's Gardens. Uh, if you go back and look at my last video you'll see that she sent me a huge box filled with all kinds of plants and cuttings and seeds and just enormous amount. Um, I do have them rooting as we speak. Uh, they were stuck in the box in the heat for several days and that didn't do them much good. So we have a little, a little bit of, I'm not going to say fatalities because I still think that they're going to pull through, but for the most part, most of them um, did survive and are doing well. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start with my water propagations here. Uh, this is the Skindaptus pictus, and as you can see, she is doing just fine. And I have her in water. And then my ogre ears are, I have in water, but I don't have it sitting in water. It's, well, I don't want to move these. I don't want them to fall out, but, and I'm not sure if you can see that real good. But I have had my best luck with uh, succulents, especially my jades, rooting them above water. I do still change the water frequently and I wash out the vessel that the water's in to keep it fresh. Um, but I do get roots without putting it in actually in the water. So I'm trying that with this first. There's plenty of plant there as you can see that um, if that doesn't work we can we can try the soil method or there's several different ways that these can be propagated but right now we're going to go with this one. Um, then we have the uh, mm, Adansonii, which you can see the leaves, and I have that in water along with the, the trailing vine, Ugh, and the name escapes me right now, but those are doing well. They perked up, and... My uh, philodendron Brazil is doing great. The uh, my goodness, I'm drawing a blank today. I don't know what's that, what is wrong with me. It must be the heat <coughs> and the heat and a combination of the rain. Um, it's been raining and raining and raining. Um, I'm going to back up just a bit here and grab my ripsalis is the word I was looking for. The ripsalis um, mistletoe and she's doing really good. She's very firm so not too worried about her. Uh, my Black Pagoda is also doing very well, which I'm really excited about. A little bit of limpness, but not, not bad. So I think I got everyone there. We're not going to stop at all these because I'm going to be doing a a regular plant tour here in the very near future and we will go through all of those plants. Today is just um, I want to focus on the plants that I received in the um, swap. The begonias are doing good. I've got them in water as well except for this one and this one I put in dirt I'm not sure. I don't know if he's going to make it. 
We're going to see. I'm going to give it one more day because we had rain, rain, rain. And I don't think that they're, they have a fighting chance there without any light. But these two are doing very well. They perked up really good. Or at least three, I should say. So I've got two of them in that jar. And then moving over, here we've got the coleus, which I'm also not worried about, even though they're still a little limpy. Coleus do that when you first pot them, so I'm still very hopeful. They've perked up quite a bit. I've got them in a south window, but we've got big trees all over here so it just gets dappled south light and I was going to put it in the east window but I wasn't getting enough light back there because of all the clouds so I moved it um, over here and then mm, I don't know if you can see that. You know what, I'm gonna go around. I'll be right back. And I almost forgot my dark mystery. She's doing okay. She's got a lot of good leaves on her yet. There's a few that are hanging down, but I'm not ready to cut them off. They, they don't feel soggy, they just, they're just drooping. So I wanna give all of this one more day before I cut anything off of it and make sure that it's actually not going to make it. And my dragon fruit I have under a grow light. Well, not a grow light, an LED LED lamp. And I'm sure she's going to do just fine there. I may end up moving her to the living room. I'm not sure yet. But I kind of like her right where she is. And this is my windowsill with all of my cuttings. And as you can see... Oh, by the way, my uh, Philodendron Meekins is in that first batch that I showed you, and that is doing fine. I just forgot to mention it, but it's doing good. And here we have that same plant again, but again, I, ha I don't have this sitting in water. I have it right above water, and this is in my south window of my kitchen, along with some other cuttings. Um... That piece fell off, so I stuck it in the dirt. And then we have the um, Kalanchoes. I'm also trying to root. I'm not sure if they're going to make it because they, the moisture was completely out of them when it arrived. And usually when I um, do cuttings like this, they have to start out with some moisture to keep the plant alive while they grow roots. But we're going to... The, the little babies are have perked up, so I'm not ready to give up on that one either. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. And here's my little Ellie. Thank you, thank you, Suzette. You are so sweet. She's so cute. I have her right here on my windowsill so I can look at her every day when I'm doing my dishes. I just love her. And the baggie with the pot in there are my lily seeds. And I'm starting those in the house so that they can be a plant when I put them outside. 
so they don't get accidentally mowed over or dug up or thrown away or what have you. So I'm thinking they're okay there for now. And here is my Christmas cactus. That is going to have peach flowers. I cannot wait. And she's perked up quite a bit since I had her. So she's doing good. And then moving up very slowly is my And I can never remember the name of this one. But you all know what it is, I'm sure. <clears throat> Just beautiful. And I have it right by my other um, Monstera philodendron. And she is doing just fine. And I believe that is it, folks. I think. Pretty sure I have them all. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, I will be doing an updated complete plant tour very soon inside. So we'll be checking back on all those plants and, and then some. I hope you all are enjoying your weekend and I look forward to doing my next video and I, I love all the comments and I very much appreciate your support and I hope to see you all or hear from you all if I can't actually see you at least I can hear from you and and those of you that I've subscribed to I can see and and visit now and then so thank you again. If you like my videos and you want to see more, be sure to hit the notification bell. It will let you know when a new one has popped up. And if you want to hit a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you want to leave a comment, that would be even better. So thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye now.